Whether you've been into sneakers since you were a little kid, or you recently got into sneakers within the past couple years, or you're just getting into sneakers, I think we can all agree that the Nike SB Dunk is an important part of sneaker culture history. The Heinekens, the Freddy Cougars, even the Pigeons, and even recently, and in my opinion, the sneaker of the year last year, the Nike SB Haritos. So if you're gonna talk about sneakers that impacted sneaker culture, you definitely have to talk about the Nike SB. And if you're wondering what's the top 10 best Nike SB dunks of all time, stay tuned to find out. What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Luigi back at it again with a brand new video. And today we're gonna to be discussing the top 10 best Nike SB Dunks of all time. And what a banger of a list I got for you guys today. It was extremely hard to put a top 10 best Nike SB Dunk list of all time. No matter what I do, I feel like I'm gonna get at least one sneaker or possibly all of them just wrong because at the end of the day, whether you're into sneakers, it's all subjective, it's all personal opinion. You know, I can tell you that one specific colorway is the best and you might think otherwise and that's okay. I think we can all agree at least the top 10 that I have picked for you guys. I think this is honestly probably the best and non-biased top 10 I've ever done because all these sneakers have just impacted sneaker culture history whether you want to admit it or not. Nike SB Dunk is a timeless model and it's gonna be here long gone, 100 years from now, probably when we're all gone too. Like always, if you guys enjoy this type of content, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, join the family, we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers. If you guys can help me out and help me reach that goal, I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on my Instagram, underscore Luigi, if you guys wanna stay updated or just basically find out when I'm gonna drop a brand new video. Enough about that, let's get right to this top 10 list. We have a lot of sneakers to cover and we don't have a lot of time, so, Let's get right to the top 10 list. All right, and coming in at number 10, the first one we have on the list is the Nike SB Dunk. Purple Lobsters with collaboration with Concepts releasing back in 2018. The purple suede on this just makes the sneaker just so extremely unforgettable. The sneaker is just timeless. Obviously, it's a continuation of the Concepts collaborations that they've done with the SB Dunks. Whether you're a fan of the orange or the purple, in my opinion, I feel like the purple was just so iconic whenever Nike comes out with such a crazy colorway. It's always a massive hit. And if you're gonna talk about concepts, in my opinion, I would probably say that the purple one is probably better, at least in my opinion, than the orange one. But if you are a fan of concepts, and of course you had to know that these had to be on the list. And it's crazy that these released in 2018 and it's 2024 and it just seems so long ago and that's probably because it is. If you're a fan of concepts, of course I had to add these on the list, the purple colorway, especially in that purple suede. It's such a very nice touch. And coming in at number nine on the list, we have the Nike SB Dunk Low Ray Gun. So the sneaker itself is inspired by a fictional basketball team. These released back in 2005, which is definitely a long time ago. I was in fifth grade when these dropped. So that is definitely a long time ago, but this sneaker is very iconic for just a couple of reasons. That orange and black dye on the sneaker is just so cool. I love the details that the sneaker has, just extremely timeless. And if you're gonna talk about classic sneakers, especially classic SB Dunk, colorways we have to talk about the ray gun these are just classic and anyone who's into the sb dunks or anyone who's been collecting nike sb dunks will definitely tell you that the ray gun is definitely a clean colorway and at number eight is a sneaker that i personally tried to get and of course like most of the time on the sneakers app i don't hit for anything we have the nike sb dunk low collaboration with ben and jerry's on the chunky dunky now these released during covid back in 2020 and i remember when these dropped i tried to grab these these sneakers were so hype i honestly believe that these sneakers definitely broke the internet when these came out. These are such a cool sneaker. I know for some other people, they look at the sneaker and they're like, okay, there's a lot of stuff going on. But the fact that an ice cream company collaborated with Nike and made such an iconic sneaker. And if you're into SB Dunks, if you're into sneakers, there is no way that you don't like the sneaker. The details is crazy. Um, some people got the, the sneaker with the special packaging, like in the ice cream tote. Like that thing is just so freaking cool, man. Such a cool sneaker, I wish I had these. And if you like Ben & Jerry's, if you like ice cream, and you like SB Dunks, then this is definitely a match made in heaven. At number seven on the list, we have a Nike SB Dunk Low Skunk releasing back in 2010. Wow, what an old freaking sneaker. I was like in 10th grade when these dropped. And I love the whole 420 theme behind the sneaker. Um, if you guys watch Complex Sneaker Shopping, there is a viral clip that went around of Mike Tyson. 
ironically, he just fought last night, of him squeezing the life out of like the skunk dunks. Such a freaking cool, crazy clip, and the fact that these are resurfaced after all the years, it's just really cool as well. This sneaker is very timeless, it's iconic, and I know a lot of people who are into SB dunks or into like, you know, sneaker culture or sneaker history like that would definitely agree that this is a cool sneaker to add on the list. The whole 420 design, whether you indulge in some of those activities on 420 or you just like sneakers that have a cool, crazy theme, then this is definitely the sneaker for you. I know this is probably gonna be a hot take or probably controversial that I have these not in the top three, but it is what it is. At number six, we have the Nike SB Dunk Low Staple Pigeon. Now these are an iconic sneaker for a couple reasons. When these came out, these created such a havoc I believe the, um, the people waiting outside for this, it was just like a stampede. I believe that the initial drop for these, correct me if I'm wrong, was actually canceled because it caused so much mayhem and so much chaos. The people the people that were actually camping out for the sneaker back in the day when people used to actually camp out for sneaker releases before the sneakers app and before you know buying sneakers online was just relatively easy as it is today. This created so much chaos, so much mayhem. The fact that these sneakers released back in 2005 and we're still talking about it in 2024 just tells you how iconic this sneaker is. Staple Pigeon, you know, I know a lot of some people probably consider this the best SB Dunk of all time. It's one of those sneakers that, again, you probably won't be able to get because they're just so unobtainable and the resale price for these are just so crazy, but it's still an iconic sneaker and you have to talk about sneakers that impacted the sneaker culture, it's the Pigeons, 100%. Like, what other sneaker do you know besides like phone posits back in the day when they were really hot just created such a mayhem that they had to cancel it and these sneakers were, are just still sought after all the way in 2024. We're still talking about a sneaker that released back in 05 and it's 2024. People still look for this sneaker. People who collect sneakers still want this in their collection. And we're at the top five spots. I recently just talked about the sneaker in my top five Halloween sneakers. I put these at the number one spot because these are just extremely iconic again. Although these officially never released because they got sent a cease and desist by Nike, these are extremely sought after. If you're gonna talk about the best SB Dunks of all time, the Freddy Krueger's five out of 10 times, it's definitely gonna be on the list. And in some people's opinion, it's the best SB Dunk of all time. Do I think this colorway is great? I think it's absolutely fire. I'm not the biggest fan of Nightmare on Elm Street. Freddy Krueger isn't my favorite like horror villain of all time, but it is still such a really cool sneaker. It deserves to be in the top five spot. In my opinion, if I was gonna be a little biased, I would probably put these at the number one spot. But you have to talk about sneakers that are just still so impactful even to this day. These, although officially didn't really release, these were supposed to officially release back in 2007. It's still sought after, you still see these at sneaker conventions, people still talk about this. It's probably that one sneaker that got away from a lot of people's collection. Would I love to own this sneaker one day? Absolutely. Am I gonna pay that crazy price? Definitely not. But it's still iconic and it's still probably one of the best SB Dunks of all time. At the number four spot, we have the Nike SB Dunk Low Heineken. Now these released back in 2003. Now whether you're a fan of this beer brand or you just like this iconic colorway that the sneaker has, you definitely have to admit, again, that it's a classic sneaker. This sneaker has just become infamous in sneaker culture history. Some people would definitely say that this is even better than the Freddy Kruegers. To this day, I've been to sneaker con. I, I've, you know, I, as someone who makes sneaker content, I have yet to see these in person and for good reason because these sneakers just released just so long ago and finding one in mint condition is a little, you know, sketchy. In SB culture history or in sneaker culture history in general, the Heineken's is definitely up there. Whether you like beer or not, you have to admit the sneaker is just so clean. The whole colorway behind it, the design, the inspiration, everything. I feel like back in the day, Nike actually cared about quality and put out really great, you know, collaborations like this. It's an iconic sneaker still to this day, even though these released back in 2003. Just so crazy. And if we're gonna talk about iconic sneakers, the Heineken's definitely have to be on this list. Coming in at number three, we have the Nike SB Dunk in the What The Dunk colorway now these released back in 2007 and the inspiration behind the sneaker it's just a mashup of different nike sb dunks just pretty much together it's probably regarded the best sb dunk of all time depending who you ask do i personally like these sneakers not really it's not really a colorway that i would kind of really wear but i do have to agree that it is infamous within sneaker culture and sneaker collecting you know just in general, like anyone who is into sneakers will tell you that the what dunks are just timeless and classic. Would I wear them? Probably not, but it is still an iconic sneaker and it has to be in the top three. There was just no way I was not gonna put a sneaker that was just so impactful to sneaker culture to this day. Like people still love the sneaker, people still try to find it, it's in a lot of people's collections. It, it's just iconic, man. There's just really nothing bad I can say about the sneaker. Would I personally wear them? 
probably not. It's not really my kind of like sneaker to wear. There's just too much going on, but it is still an iconic sneaker. It's infamous and it's timeless. And we're probably gonna be still talking about the sneaker 10 years from now because it's just that good. All right, we're at the top two. Whew. And hopefully I get this one right. I know you guys are probably gonna come at me crazy for putting this at number two. At number two, we have the Nike SB Dunk Tiffany. Now these released back in 2005. This is a collaboration between Diamond Supply and the Tiffany's are just times classic. That teal colorway is just crazy to me. Like I have yet to see just like the Heineken's and just like the Freddy Krueger's, I have yet to see these in person, but I know the impact that the sneaker had and I know the chokehold that the sneaker still has on sneaker culture history to this day. Like these sneakers released back in the day and we're still talking about them in 2024 and we're still probably gonna be talking about them possibly maybe 20 or 30 years from now, 50, maybe 100. This sneaker will just outlive all of us because it's just so iconic. The Tiffany's are probably the best SB Dunk of all time if we're just being completely honest. I think these are so clean. That colorway is just, it's just a banger of a sneaker, man. It's one of those sneakers that you put on if you really just want to turn a lot of heads. It's, it's definitely a sneaker that you throw on if you definitely want to flex. Like at that point, you're just not even hiding it anymore. Like we all know why you're getting the sneaker because you want to flex and that's okay because it is a banger of a sneaker. I wish I could own these. These would definitely probably be the holy grail to my sneaker collection. And it's probably the missing piece to my sneaker collection if we're being completely honest. Before we get into the number one spot, let's go over the honorable mentions we have for this list. So I have two honorable mentions for you guys. The first one on the honorable mentions list, we have the Nike SB Dunk and the Grateful Dead. Now, these sneakers are just fun, at least in my opinion. I didn't want to put these on the list because these are just relatively new. These recently just came out and I felt like it would be a little disrespectful to kind of put these on this list compared to the other sneakers that were on this list. I do have to admit the Grateful Dead is still a cool, crazy, fun collab. If you're into the, like those cool, like bright, wacky colors, even like the material used on the sneaker with the fuzzy material is still really cool. If you like listening to Grateful Dead, whether you're a fan and you're into sneakers, then this is definitely the sneaker for you. These are a little bit more obtainable than probably all the sneakers on this list. So if you've been eyeing these for a while, you definitely can definitely get these. They won't be cheap, but you could definitely at least try to get these into your collection. And the last one on the honorable mentions list, and in my opinion, I personally believed that these were the sneaker of the year last year because I own these. I actually hit for these on the raffle and Crazy thing about these sneakers, a little fun fact, um, I actually sold these sneakers to help pay for the engagement ring that I gave to my fiance right now. The SB Dunk Haritos is what, such an iconic sneaker, so cool. Haritos, obviously it's a Mexican soda brand. And if you're into that type of stuff, you like those cool, crazy colorways, I think the sneaker is just so cool. The fact that there's a whole different layer underneath the sneaker, you can destroy it and it just reveals a cool, like underneath like layer to it. It's just so cool, at least in my opinion, man. I did a full detail review on these. So if you guys do wanna check those out, click that link up top. I know a lot of people probably would say the Air Jordan 4, you know, pine greens, but I thought these were the sneaker of the year. These were probably the best collaboration I've seen in a very long time. So if you're into the Nike SB Haritos, if you still want to pick these up, these are still a little, these are a little bit more obtainable than all the sneakers on this list. So coming in at number one on the honorable mentions list, we have the Nike SB Haritos. These were just so clean in my opinion, man. These are so cool and definitely a great sneaker for the fall. And we are at the number one spot. And I know a lot of people are probably guessing what sneaker can he put at the number one spot? What is the best Nike SB Dunk of all time? The Nike SB Dunk Low Paris. Now it was a no brainer that I was just going to put these on this list. These released back in 2003. And the cool thing about the sneaker is the sneaker itself on the actual upper and all around the sneaker, it features artwork from a famous painter. And it's widely regarded as the best sneaker of all time, not even just SB Dunk of all time. It's the holy grail of a lot of people's sneaker collections. It's If you wanna talk about holy grails and sneakers that people want, it's definitely the Paris. Like, do I think these sneakers are better than the Freddy Kruegers and the Chunky Dunkies? I, I think the Parises are okay, but that's a hot take that's neither here nor there. But I do have to agree that when it comes to sneakers that have impacted sneaker culture history, this is the most iconic one on this whole entire list. Like the fact that the sneaker released back in 2003 and people still actively look for it. I've seen videos of people going to conventions and selling like their whole entire sneaker collection, just paying just racks for the sneaker. I've seen people empty out bank accounts to buy this specific pair and it's just so crazy to me. Do I think the sneaker is worth that, that amount of money? Absolutely not. That's still a crazy amount of money to pay for some sneakers that just go on your feet and you wear them, they get dirty. At the end of the day, their sneakers are meant to get worn. But for the sake of you know talking about sneaker culture history and just you know collecting in general, the Paris is the most iconic sneaker of all time. You know, like there's just no debate. Like if you want to talk about top fives, top tens, the Paris, 
nine out of ten times, it, it's number one on a lot of people's lists. So I feel like if we're going to talk about holy grails and sneakers, you know, that will complete any sneaker collection, you have to bring up the Paris. These are just really cool. And the fact that it does feature like some paintings from a famous painter on the whole entire upper is just really cool and still a really cool concept. And to this day, Nike knew what they were doing and they absolutely knocked that apart. If you want to talk about timeless classic sneakers and just sneakers that everyone loves, you have to talk about the Paris. That pretty much just wraps it up for my top 10 Nike SB Dunks of all time. Now, I know this was a banger of a list. I know this is a crazy list of sneakers to put on here. Hopefully I got these right. Comment it down below in the comment section. Would you copy any of the sneakers on this list? Did I miss any of your favorite sneakers? And like always, if you guys do want a part two to this video, 200 likes, I know you guys can do it, but that's pretty much it. I hope you guys really did enjoy this video. And we'll catch you guys next time. Peace. Run it. Uh, I run the game, yeah, you work a piece. Took the roof off, now it's just cease. Yeah, I keep a watch on my enemies. Look me in my eyes, we are not the same, you work a piece. Yeah, I run the game, yeah, you work a piece. Took the roof off, now it's just cease. Yeah, I keep a watch on my enemies. Look me in my eyes, we are